Here, I will be showing you how to change the password you enter when buying or downloading apps from the App Store. At first, you should know that there's no such thing as App Store password. In the App Store, you use the password that you set up for your Apple ID. So I'll show you how to change it, but later I'll also show you how to disable it for free purchases. So let's get into it. It's actually simpler than you would expect. At first, you need to be signed in already with your Apple ID. It's not possible to change the password without you knowing the old one to begin with. Anyway, you go to the settings and tap on your name right there at the top of the screen. Then continue with the password and security. And literally the first thing is the option to change password. If you have a passcode enabled, and you probably do, then type it in and you will be able to create a new password. There are two fields for password. Of course, you need to retype it twice to make sure you don't make a mistake. Also, the same guidelines apply for a secure password. So one uppercase, character, number, and so on. So type it in and hit save, done, whatever it tells you. And the next time you'll be asked to type your password in App Store, but also in other places, this is going to be the new one. As you can see, it's pretty simple to change the Apple ID password once you are signed in with it already on your Apple device. But in the second part of the video, like I said, if you want to disable password protection for free purchases on App Store, there is an option to do so. It may be annoying to retype the long password for a simple free app, I get it. So let's just change it. Anyways, in the same area in the settings, meaning when you click on your name at the top, then tap on media and purchases. Then click on password settings. And if you have the option enabled, where it says require password for free purchases, make sure to turn it off. This is what's going to make sure that whenever you're downloading free app in the future from now on, it's not going to ask you to retype the long password in the one that is supposed to be secure for your Apple ID. Of course, it makes things a lot simpler and most importantly, quicker. And in this case, you will still be required to use your biometrics, so Face ID or Touch ID when downloading apps. It also has to be enabled though. In the Face ID and a passcode section in settings, make sure to go there. And there is iTunes and an App Store. And you just have to make sure that there is a green check next to it. That means that it's enabled. So from now on, you will be able to use your biometrics for downloading apps. And you won't be asked to type the long password in with every purchase. I just hope that the video helped you out. Like you can see, I'm not trying to drag out the video to be longer than it really needs to be. So if you appreciated this kind of content and this type of making videos, then consider subscribing to this channel because this is what you can expect in the future as well. Thank you very much for watching again and we can see each other in the future.